This, what age are you now? Um, 98 plus. 98, so you were born in... Moorbrook. Moorbrook in 1912. 12, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And that was the year the Titanic. That was the year, the, the spring, the great Titanic ship went down, the unsinkable ship yes. went down. What date was that it went down? I think it was around February. February, I and you were I... born in the April, mm -hmm. April the 6th. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, what, one thing I wondered was, in these days, what on earth was it like when a baby was born, away miles for Because you, you when you were born, you were living miles for anywhere. Oh, indeed. It was a good 14 miles for the doctors in New Galloway. Mm -hmm. The doctor lived in New Galloway and mm -hmm. he would have had to come on horseback. Mm -hmm. uh, however, mother had it arranged that there was a missus. McLeod would be with her for Balmaclellan. Right. She'd be there for maybe a week previous to the confinement. Uh -huh. And uh, she'd be there for the confinement when the baby was born. They okay. must have known awfully well just when a baby was expected. Well, that's what I wondered. How would, how would they know? They must have known Bunty. Uh -huh. Better uh -huh. as the day nowadays. Uh -huh. But how would they be able to tell? Well, well, I really don't know. They're, no. they're, uh, I really don't know. The, you see, because a, a baby could be expected at a certain time uh -huh. and it doesn't long for maybe no, another could be a fortnight or whatever. Anyway, so Mrs McLeod would come and she would stay at Murbrook. She would stay at Murbrook. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'd be there maybe a week previous mm -hmm. to the confinement mm -hmm. was expected. Mm -hmm. And would she stay for a while after? Well, she would stay for maybe a fortnight or something. Right. The mother got up. You see, in the days, a mother lay for ten days after the baby was that's born. Right. Uh -huh. Ten days? That's yes. a while, isn't oh, it? Oh, it was indeed. But uh -huh. there's even in hospitals, they did lie uh -huh. way to ten. But no, nowadays they're up and away. Like the next day sometimes? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And what, the feeding of the baby, would that be breast milk? Oh, yes, mother would be feeding me. Mm -hmm. I, Mm -hmm. I, mother would be feeding the babies, was all breastfed, mm -hmm. and uh, once they got for it a bit, they would be getting milk for the cow. Mm -hmm. We didn't have any such mm -hmm. thing as the fancy tin powdered milk or anything. No, no. no. Uh, the milk would be for the cow. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then gradually on to something it's, it's it's solid. Something th uh, yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. porridge and pudding and uh -huh. tarties. And, uh -huh. so and when it was the milk for the cow, would it be, how would the baby get that, in a bottle? Oh I just an ordinary bottle with a big tit hood. Mm -hmm. There was no fancy milk bottles, the way, no. I can't what the older ears was like, uh -huh. the, the, the younger ears I would say. Uh -huh. It was just an ordinary, maybe a, a an HP bottle or, oh. or something like that. Like the HP sauce? Ah, yeah, and uh -huh. a big fancy, a big tit, there was no such... Uh -huh. Uh, finery. And no. I mean, they did perfectly well. Uh -huh. And this is thing as a finery. Where would they get the tit for the tap? The button? Where would they get the tit for the tap? The, the tap of the bottle? Oh, they must have had it for the previous wins. <laughs> it would be a store. They must have had it for the previous... There would they be such sort of thing. In the house. Right. Aye, uh-huh. And, then for and of the course, Auntie Mamie was already, she would be two or... Uh, I, I, well, eh, there's just a year between Nelly and Mimi. Mm -hmm. There's rather more between eh, Nelly and I. Yes, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lamb Uh-huh. And the doctor would, if the doctor was needed, he would come on horseback? He would have had to come on horseback, but he never was there. No. He never mm -hmm. was there. No. No, there was But no. if he had been needed, it would obtain a wee while to uh, get... In this day and age, it would be a helicopter. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. It, it, it was a snowstorm, I can tell you. Uh huh. I've heard mother say it was a snowstorm. Mm hmm. And father would be away to the hill. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the peat fire would be blazing up, and the kettle would be sitting at the side on the hob. Right. Uh, boiling away. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For the boiling water mm -hmm. would be needed. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Either would be a pot put on to boil water for washing up after the confinement mm -hmm. the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there would be no fancy baby grows or 
Oh no, uh, Lord, these... Lord, we need friendship, baby. Lord. No, no, no. Mother would have made the uh, goons, goon bar uh -huh. barrack, aye. Barracoat. Barracoat. Mother would have made. Uh -huh. She probably and had binders. Them, What's a binder? A binder was a rock in the, the belly. That was to keep your back warm, and right. it was just the uh, uh, fancy flannel. Can and print or no fancy twins are all done. Mm -hmm. No, no, there's no time for that. Mm -hmm. There'd be big safety prints and mm -hmm. take it to keep the back warm and keep the belly in, mm -hmm. protect. On the baby? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what was the barry, barry coat? The barry coat was very long. The barry wings is very long, covering her feet. Right. Long like goons. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Long Just a goonie, can I say? Yeah, so uh -huh. to speak. Aye. Uh -huh. And of course there would be no toddlers groups or play groups or... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 You would just play with each other or... As we come for it, we certainly did. And, and it was the open peat fire. Mm -hmm. And there was a great big bug, like a, a goanna sack, lay in front of the fire. There was no fancy rug. Uh -huh. And the floor was big. Flags, big reed flags, uh -huh. big rice back, armor broke floor, bunty. Uh -huh. And it was a big uh, uh, wool bag that lay in front of the fire and, and the wind sat on that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the wool bag was like a rug? It was, in fact. On the flag a, stage? It was double. It was a double. It was a bag. Uh -huh. It was a bag for the wool. For, for the, the sheep wool. For the sheep wool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, it, that was the. Uh, uh -huh. What the Wayne sat on. Yes. Aye. And of course, this was just before, when you were born, this was just before the World War One. It would be in fact. Uh -huh. But you'll not remember anything about. No, I don't World remember War much about the beginning no. of the war. No. no. Do you remember the end of the war? Uh, uh, but I do remember the, the First World War that uh, they come out for feather to go and to join up. Oh. But then the McTurks, the bosses of Tom Old, Tom Ergel and Hull, I got to move for the size of the herding he was ah. doing. And at that time, it was only a young boy that was going to school with us, as we come for it, uh -huh. uh, that was helping feather on the hill. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so, what age would the young boy be? Well, he, he took a bow He was able, he would be... Maybe 12, 13, mm -hmm. he was still at the school mm -hmm. and he was, uh, Togi Crawford was his name, mm -hmm. and he drove the pony in, maybe in, in, in Bunty and I, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe in Nelly and I, mm -hmm. and uh, until maybe got for it to be able to tuck the pony, right. and the, the boy would be aged to leave the school, mm -hmm. and he was still helping Father on the hill when he was at the school. Mm -hmm. Doggy Crawford was his name. Uh -huh. And how how big a herdin was it? Oh, it was a very big herdin, Marshbrook herdin. It was a double herdin, actually. But in the days, a shepherd was expected to do an awful load. It, many of them mother said £15. I mean, it, they never had much. They had to pay and feed a young herd, the young mm -hmm. herd, you said that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fifteen pound for how long? Fifteen, fifteen. It's a half year later. For a half year, aye, uh -huh. so aye. that was fifteen pounds. Was your six months' wages? Aye, uh huh. Aye. Uh huh. And would they get it at once or? Uh, would it be? Yes, yes. They got that at the beginning now, and they got a bag of oatmeal and a bag of flour. Ah. <laughs> and maybe two fat sheep. Right. You see, there was two fat uh -huh. sheep. And the the grazing for two milk cows. Mm -hmm. They were the herd's cows, but they got the grazing for that was part of the herd's wage. Ah. The grazing for the cows. Oh, it was a gay hard business. Uh -huh. It would be a very hard up business. And they would get the milk for the cows. Aye, he, he, the shepherd got the milk mm -hmm. certainly as for to kern for butter or whatever. Mm -hmm. Feed a calf. They would, they would have two milk cows and the foliage a calf of each cow. If right. they were successful, right, and that they got the reason for that, uh -huh. but the calves would have to be up to six months old, and then they would be sold, right, mm -hmm. uh huh, mm -hmm. and they would make the butter for the aye, the, 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 the shepherd's milk. wife made the butter, mm -hmm. curd, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the milk cows they were, their big slabs went in the milk cows at Marbrook, mm -hmm. and they were great big milk bins, mm -hmm. and he sieved the milk into that when he'd got the cool milk. Mm -hmm. Then the next day 
i skæm de du fyrer fænger og rører spinden. Det er krok for at for the butter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that would be their supply of butter. Oh yeah. And and then the went and then the summer time when the coy was milking heavy, uh, the the had big churnins of butter. And there was always so much put into the croak, salted for the winter years, mm-hmm. winter months, when mm-hmm. there was no butter, mm-hmm. when the koi was dry. Right. So you could did the milk koi you run. No. No, she had to be served, and then she did her calf, and then she yes. produced the milk. Aha, uh-huh. yes. Mm-hmm. So some of it would be kept back. Yes. Mm-hmm. And salted. It was salted. To preserve and it. And the eggs were salted, the preserved, and mm-hmm. that. I forget what he got, but the eggs mm-hmm. were salted. Because there would be no fridges. No. No fridges. No, no, or no electricity. No, no electricity. No power. No. <laughs> no electric cookers or gas. Oh, for heaven's sake, no. No. You so how do we... It uh, works your peats and the open peat fire. Uh-huh. And the oven put hanging with a nice big bonnet canton. Mm-hmm. Peat from the top of the lid for to cook the top of the bonnet. Right. Then mother would lift it off with the tongs, see what it was like. Oh, it was lovely and brown and red. And they were beautiful bonnets. Mm-hmm. They were made in the oven put. Ah. And, and then the peat was put back into the fire again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like an oven. It was in fact. Uh-huh. It was, and there was a heat for the bottom for the bottom of the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like an oven, really. Mm-hmm. And then the school. Now, how did the school work? So this boy would drive the pony. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, Toki Crawford. Uh-huh. It was in charge of the pony until maybe was, your auntie maybe was able to be in charge of the pony and drop in the mm-hmm. winds and the drop. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you would set off at what time, what sort of time or morning? Oh, we had to be at school at nine, half past nine. Mm-hmm. Aye, we had to be at school at and nine. And that was, what was the name of the school? Strong Fregan. Strong School. Fregan, public school out in the country. Mm-hmm. And it was always female teachers. There never was a male teacher all the years. Oh, why was that then? I don't know, there were always female teachers. Right, uh-huh. It and went. how many pupils would be at that the school? Oh, the, oh, there was quite a lot. And I mean, they started at five, mm-hmm. and they were there till they were 14. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what? how many would there be at a time? Oh, there would be up to 20. Ah. And the teacher in each one of the classes. Uh-huh. Maybe would and just be the one teacher? Just one teacher. There was always just one teacher. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. 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 Miss Jenkins, remember, Mrs. and Mrs. Mitchell... Mm-hmm. was the name of the teacher we started with. She was a married lady. Mm-hmm. Her husband worked on the road. Mm-hmm. And then there was Miss Jenkins and her sister stayed with her. Mm-hmm. 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 And would there be a schoolhouse next door to the oh, school? Oh, it was, it was attached to the school. Ah. Uh, the school uh-huh. was... Uh, you have went by Strathregan. Uh-huh. Uh, Strathregan, mm-hmm. the school was just attached the, uh, mm-hmm. the, to the house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what would happen for like a play piece or lunchtime? Is is a choice to carry with you? Mm-hmm. I well, we took our spread pieces. It usually be scored because we didn't have a bonnet, a bit of the bonnet. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, mother would have made uh, because we didn't have bread. We didn't have. Uh, because mm-hmm. vans are way up at Merprook. No. No, no. no. Very seldom, be a bit of very seldom a bit of had bread. Uh-huh. We used to say when we do who she were in, we'd cut the crust off and spread it with butter. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what would be on the scone or the bannock? Oh, it would be butter, and if the coy was dry, it would be margarine. Uh-huh. Because it would, and it uh-huh. would be... Uh, it would be jam, whatever mother had in the cupboard, mm-hmm. jam that she had made. She would have made it? Yes, uh-huh. there would be never bought jam. No. Uh, but rhubarb, but rhubarb, rhubarb was easy as ground. Rhubarb jam. Because there would be no berries to get in the can. Rhubarb jam. And where would they get the margarine when there was no Oh, water? the margarine, well, mother, uh, mother got big boxes of stuff for tampons and the... Uh, such as Glasgow, and it came to Pohonis, it came to the wee post office with the buses for Glasgow, <coughs> big, with margarine and different supplies of things that were perishable. Oh. Uh, and we went with the pony and machine and collected this 
uh, every mm-hmm. CEO for ah, brought it home. Right, for the supplies. Uh-huh. I, I wonder how they would order them, because there would be no telephones to oh, order. She would hear a writing in, sending in messages. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Putting in an order. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Templeton's actually was seen in the bits where the Templeton's in Glasgow was seen in the bits where the big boxes are messy. Big wooden boxes messages mm-hmm. wrote. Such as for soup and mm-hmm. uh, cereals and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, things that wasn't perishable. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. the margin and margins come in great big slab. Mm-hmm. Father got it bit grease. <laughs> bit grease. <laughs> <laughs> bit grease. <laughs> and at the school, um, and at the lights at lunchtime, would you have your piece then too? Aye, uh, and we took a flask. A tin flask uh-huh. with an ordinary cork in it. Uh-huh. Uh, mother would put the tea in, the, the tea's ready, it was the teapot, and we took the tin flask with us, mm-hmm. set it on the hobs, the mm-hmm. fireplace, if there's no open fire at the skill. Oh. And uh, set it there with the cork out, and uh, it was nice and warm when mm-hmm. come time for the mm-hmm. to a mug with us, mm-hmm. 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 a bottle of milk. Mm-hmm. And would the boy, would he go away back home with a pony? No, no, heavens no, he no. he'd get his lessons at the oh, school. because he was also attending the school. Oh, he was I, he wasn't he... left the school, you right. see. Uh-huh. I know, Tony uh-huh. Crawford was still So what school. did the pony do, I do? The pony was in, in well, in the summertime it was in a field, mm-hmm. in a, a field on a farm near the school. Mm-hmm. And then in the wintertime it was in a stable near the school, mm-hmm. in a shepherd's uh, stable near mm-hmm. school, mm-hmm. and we had to walk the mile to Smeaton before we got the pony. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, aye, aye. Aye. Well, so the pony didn't take us to the school, there wasn't there. Uh-huh. No, no. Uh-huh. So that was quite a, quite an undertaking. Well, well, it was, but mm-hmm. it was the way it did. Aye, uh-huh. Had uh, you And a four-way, a four-mother fight, Foot for a pony and drop to get us to the school oh. when it was time for Mimi and Nellie and I and we all went to school to start together. We all started school together, the three of us. Mm-hmm. And she fought for a pony and drop because she used to take us so far with the horse and cart, mm-hmm. the big horse and the cart, and, and let us out and we don't walk and she met us at night mm-hmm. one day. She mm-hmm. met us at night with mm-hmm. the horse and cart we were broke. Goodness. And how many miles would that be? Oh, it was about five miles to scale. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there would be a wee in, in the cart as well, like if she mm-hmm. took the wee in where her feather would be way to hell. Mm-hmm. I wonder what she would set the wee in on the cart. Oh, it would be a box. A box? <laughs> it would be a box. <laughs> The cart was just an open cart uh-huh, uh-huh. It would be sitting in a box. In a box on the back uh-huh. of the cart. Uh-huh. In- inside the cart. Uh-huh. Inside the cart. Had you to wear anything special at the school? No. Just whatever you were? Oh, I just... What would you do for clays? I mean, what, what, where the, would you get clays? Mother, mother was a great horn for... We had... The feather had their sheep, maybe a couple of sheep pets in his bargain. Again, part of the bargain, and the wool was sent to the mills for to be turned into tweed, mm-hmm. as such. And mother was a great horn, her big, her treadle sewing machine. She was wheel handed mm-hmm. for sewing, mm-hmm. and she always sent for welding patterns. Mm-hmm. We had to have a welding. Yes. Well, she always sent for books of welding patterns, mm-hmm. and and she got the patterns for there. And I mean, at one stage. She, she sent away the wool it went to the mills and it was tartan that she bought and she bought, she made us three allerians tartan. She made maybe a nice tartan frock oh. and, and mine was a, a skirt and a kidney top and Nellie's was the same oh. and she had the patterns for the uh-huh. for welded. Uh-huh. She did a lot of sewing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And they would last for a while. Oh, he did the wash them every day. Uh-huh. They were the winter, the winter uh-huh. wear. Heavy. And would would they make things out of the likes of the floor bags? Oh, heavens, your shirts was all made of these floor bags. Right. Because <laughs> they were my big 160 pound mark, couldn't he? <laughs> the floor bags was a beautiful white coating. Uh-huh. But this 160 pound or whatever <laughs> it was on, 
It never came out with bleach and boiling the road. That was the on the flu. And that was the weight of the flu that had been in it. <laughs> it was the weight. Uh-huh. And the mother made our chemises. She didn't talk with shirts. Oh. It was your chemises. Your chemises. She made your chemises way out of the flu it was with all. In a big 160 pound or something in the park seat. <laughs> That didn't the matter. No, you no, just... she was good at shaping a thing. Uh-huh. And the coat the it were ten steam bugs of flu always. Uh-huh. And they were the best of coating. Were they? So it was great material in the eighties, but they uh-huh. a beautiful material. And it would last for a while. Oh have it was mm-hmm. a boil the boil they'd be put in a pot and boil in the fire uh-huh. so like, Oh, yeah. And would you ever dye them, or would they just be the colour yes, of food? Yes, yes. Mother dyed them occasionally and mm-hmm. made it, knit curtains, we short curtains with them. Oh. Uh, so they be short curtains, oh, I remember. Uh huh. Oh, do you mind that, Bunty? Uh-huh. Uh, I think. I assume uh-huh. she bought, she dyed them, she made me short curtains. Uh huh. She was good with her hand, she was good with the sewing mm-hmm. machine. Mm-hmm. She was gifted in that way. Mm-hmm. We, and at the school, would you learn sewing and knitting? Oh, heavens, I would make. We got to, we had to sew or we had always, the losses had other, their seam. Mm-hmm. He made the chemises, sitting on sewing chemises, or he made p- pinifers. Mm-hmm. Uh, teacher would cut them out, he took the material and the teacher cut them out. Mm-hmm. And the boys did the knitting and knitted it beautiful. Fancy he did stockings right up to their knees. Mm-hmm. They did the knitting. There was always an afternoon for the boys knitting and the lasses sewing. Mm-hmm. 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 And I always remember Gourley all big fancy born for Ken Bonk come visiting at the school. And we were doing our sewing lesson. It was it was a, a chemise that I was doing it and it was a, it wasn't a coat and it was and he said, this is rather bad. What he meant, this is rather a dangerous sort of material. And I said, and he asked if I knew what for. I said, it's really bad for gathering up the dust. Oh, but that wasn't what he meant. It was bad for inflammable. Oh, right. Oh. Ah, it could catch fire easy. Mm-hmm. Oh. So there you Oh, right. Uh-huh. Good big bug at the moment. Good if you can bug. No, I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and at the school, how did you manage for paper and pens and pencils? Well, when we started school, firstly, the, the five-year-olds, they were slates about the size of that, mm-hmm. and slate pencils, mm-hmm. and he wrote it. And then if uh, you had it in a wet cloth, we had to rub it in. Oh, it was wrong. Yeah spat on it and rubbed it with your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> the boys did not know. Did they? It's all the way you clean the slate. Right. <laughs> you spat on it. <laughs> rub it your elbow. And that would mean that you couldn't keep on here your work because it would all have to that's be right, went that's out right. again. Yes. Ah. There was the blackboard of course and the, 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 the teacher had the blackboard of uh-huh. course and, uh-huh. and chalk. Right. No, it was it was slates, mm-hmm. and they were right enough, mm-hmm. and, and slate pencils, mm-hmm. and then in a lot of years, of course, we got to books and paper again and read. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, aye, they were all slate pencils. It must have been quite a thing when you got a book. Aye. I mean, that's different for a slate, isn't it? Oh, yes. Aye. Yes, it was, in fact. Aye. Aye. Oh, uh-huh. It's surprising who we learnt to uh, write with the slate. Slate. Yeah. What, what about the likes of Christmases and presents and that sort of thing? Oh, there was no presents for the skill. No, no. Mm-hmm. No, there no were mm-hmm. no parties around. Like no, no, no parties or concerts? No, 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 we didn't go into any no. school. Did you get music at the school? Uh, y- uh, yes, there was a piano, mm-hmm. and uh, usually the teacher, whoever was the teacher, played the piano, yes, and we got singing, mm-hmm. and we, we did get exercise drill, we had an afternoon for drill, mm-hmm. and that was a, a very interesting thing, you know, mm-hmm. go to drill thing, which is in the middle of the flare, and, Mm-hmm. Did, you, did you change into shorts? Or? Oh, heavens no, you didn't oh. show your bare legs. Oh! That would have been quite a... Would it? Oh! 
That's dull. He had your skirts in here. Oh. In your, in your, the boys would have their knee length trousers. Right. And their, and their knee length stockings, their uh-huh. bare knees. But would he be doing somersaults or anything no, like that? No, no. Oh. No, 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 no somersault. No. Just drill in the, in the, in the, in the, in the school. Yes. In the school. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The room, school uh-huh. Room. uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And there would be plenty of exercise at home because the, I suppose the Waynes would be helping with the work. Oh, the Waynes would be helping uh-huh. with the work, definitely. Mm-hmm. We the all, likes of the peat. Oh, we're all, the, the slushes was at the peats and the hay and all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What would, the likes at the peat, what would you be doing? Well, if feather would flee the, the grin for the moose for the peat hog and uh, he would stand on the top and cut the peat, we were very sharp peat sheep for to cut the peat mm-hmm. and mother would be in the hog flinging the moot onto the barry mm-hmm. and and maybe a, a hired boy, maybe Toby Crawford would be burying them away and coping the moot for the sun to get them mm-hmm. uh, and then maybe in a week's time the peats would be good, kind of hard with the sun mm-hmm. and us winds would be there all stelling them up on the ends Mm-hmm. to let the sun get to the other parts of the peat. Mm-hmm. 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 So they were thoroughly dried? Oh yes, they had mm-hmm. to be thoroughly dried mm-hmm. and uh, they'd be there f- no, maybe for a month and then Feather would do the horse to get and get and I'm here and be a big stock of peats. That mm-hmm. was f- that's the winter fuel. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. we didn't have peats, we had no fuel. Mm-hmm. And the peat stack was, it was high? The peat stack was very high. Ah. How did they get away up to... Oh, well, the ladders, uh-huh. the ladders. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Climb up. The clothes was hung up, flung up for the fill in the centre. Right. And the, the long peats was made to make a, you know, an mm-hmm. outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there was a, a wee ducat left for the hens to get into shelter to the rain. Oh, <laughs> in, at, in at the peat stack? Ah, oh, in at oh. the peat stack. Oh, uh-huh. But you must mean it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and of course you would have hens for eggs. Oh, hi, the hens. Mm-hmm. 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 And at the hay, what would be involved at the hay? Oh, the hay was a uh, well, feather mowed the hay with the scythe. Right. And it was no such thing as a reaper in the 80s. No. Feather mowed, you reckon the, 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 whoever was saying I'll hurt and him were out for six o'clock in the morning before the sun would get up. Ah. It was too hot once the sun got out. Uh huh. Mowing, swathes the hay, swathes. Uh-huh. I see a job. Oh, aye, with a big scythe. Aye, with a big scythe. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. uh, it, it would lie for a day or two, and then a day or two, the guys would be four good gone and tease it, shape it, eat it. Mm-hmm. And, and you, would, you would help with that? Oh, aye. The wains would be helping the with that? The wains would help with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it to come when it had to be, if it was coming like coming rain, it was getting dry, you see. Mm-hmm. And it had to be put into coals mm-hmm. to keep it dry, and then eventually it was put into rocks. Mm-hmm. Put what in was it field. put into first? Coals, did he say? Ah, uh, it was put into no, no coals no. for the fire. No, but we heaps to keep it dry. Right. Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. f- fully not, it was put into rocks. Rocks. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And tied with a uh, rope. Yes. Right. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, of course, it was brought him then mm-hmm. to the shed or into stocks or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And then if it was stocks, you see there, in the stockyard, as you call it, big, big huge stocks, feather uh, had to cut spread for thick, mm-hmm. to thick it, mm-hmm. and it made a lovely job thicken, oh. beautiful job thicken, to keep the rain out. Yes, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so he would thick, he would make thick to keep the rain out? Aye, aye, aye. out of the rushes. Yes. You uh-huh. Cut the rushes and left those standing out the, Right. The season, and then uh-huh. just for a short time, uh-huh. and then he think there. Uh-huh. 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 And the lights are when they were them that were working in the high field. Somebody would bring out a basket. Oh yes, that was always very welcome. Uh-huh. A basket of scones and uh-huh. jam and uh-huh. the pancakes and uh-huh. dirty scones maybe, uh-huh. and a bucket a can of tea. We didn't have tea but as such. Uh-huh. It was a can of tea. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, uh, we're all sitting. There's a good picture somewhere, but I think it'll be up in Grace's. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was a hell lot of them sitting. Uh, I don't know if it was a peat hog, peat moss, or if it was the hayfield. And the wains, uh, the, 
the children. Mm -hmm. Yes, they should include it. Mm -hmm. There's those clogs on. Now clogs is all set not with. Oh. It may not be. <laughs> Can that must be some of what? <laughs> just, just be. Uh, it's the greatest thing. They sit neat, you see, uh -huh. in their feet, the clogs. Uh -huh. Hell, we That's funny, isn't it? Where would they get the clogs? Oh, the clogs came from Grierson and Dumfries. Ah. They were they come up from Grierson uh -huh. and Dumfries. Uh -huh. Grierson had a place in the Venal, uh -huh. a clogger. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they would last for years, I suppose. Oh, the clogs was a menace to feather because the carcass, especially during the time of the ice uh -huh. and, the, and the winds sliding on the ice and knocking the tops of the carcass, mm -hmm. you know, of the, the carcass, mm -hmm. they were all needing clog and they were all needing carcass. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And, and he, he would do that? Oh, I feel that had a, mm -hmm. the, a last, as he called it, for pitting out his knees and mm -hmm. the clog come on and mm -hmm. just get the carcass on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, would, what would be the situation with meals? What would be the... The kind of standard fare, breakfast, lunch time. Oh, he had a, a right breakfast in the morning that he sat down to the table. I think they don't do nowadays. They all sat down and if it was porridge, it was mostly. It wasn't so much porridge at him, but uh, it was usually the toast was made in front of the open fire, you see, mm -hmm. where the heat was. And maybe With a, a fork. big scone, or oh, the knee bread. No. Big scone toast it with, with butter or margarine on it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And porridge? No so much no. porridge. Mother didn't mm -hmm. make porridge much in the morning. It was eight. Mm -hmm. Father liked his porridge at night. Oh. Tea time. Oh. The porridge was made away when about six o'clock. Oh. Why, the porridge was at night. Uh -huh. yeah, and would that be a main meal, or when would be your kind of main meal? Well, Father, I said the porridge in the morning didn't keep you full. Oh. No, mm -hmm. he liked to have scone, he can, so it's mere solid. Uh -huh. The main meal was at uh, dinner time. The middle of the day? Yes, 12 o'clock was dinner time. Mm -hmm. and what and would that consist of? Well, it'd be a big pot of broth. Mm -hmm. There would be a big pot of broth or lentil soup or something you can to be made out of the gate then. Mm -hmm. Something with vegetables then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, having, feather having two fat sheep uh, in his bargain, with the boys part his wage, uh, there was uh, a bit of mutton in the salt. Mm -hmm. He said there was always a bit of mutton in the salt. Mm -hmm. uh, so that there was uh, that for to be make soup, mm -hmm. broth or whatever. Mm -hmm. And what would that be kept in? So the mutton, the sat mutton, what would that be in? Where would it be kept? It was in the milk house. A milk house. It uh -huh. was in the milk house, aye. Uh -huh. and, and, and big kind of croaks. Uh-huh. Aye. Uh -huh. They had croaks, big lumps of croaks. Some of those are hiding on the table. Mm -hmm. Big open mouth croaks. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like, uh, like stuff like uh, plates are made mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. Thicker, of course. Mm -hmm. Like yes. milk bean. The milk beans were the same. And how long would the sat keep it for? Oh, heavens, it keep it for a oh, simmer. Would it? Oh, aye. Uh -huh. oh, aye. Even without fridges uh -huh. or anything? Oh, it would uh -huh. keep it all over. Uh -huh. And then you see the a pig, the pig had to be killed in the back end of the year. The wee pig in the spring and he fed it or a simmer and it was killed mm -hmm. in the back end of the year. Mm -hmm. And again, it was salted. And mm -hmm. yes, it had been long enough in the salt and dried. It was hung on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it would hang there on the ceiling just when you went working on your... I uh, uh -huh. took it down and put a bit over the fro frying pot. Mm -hmm. Boy, good, it was tasty. Was it? <laughs> I'll tell you something about a tatty scone. Uh -huh. And a bit kid scone, buddy. Ah, it, it was tasty. And what would it be fried in? Well, the grease out of the ham. Mm -hmm. You see, there's quite a bit of fat comes out of the ham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you, you must have got to ken the pig when you got it in the <laughs> spring. You must have got to ken the pig. Oh, I mean, you did you go and talk to the pig. But <laughs> did you know pig. that, was it not like a pet? Ah, it was in its own hoose, of course. It was ah. the pig story. Uh -huh. it was in its but were you not sorry when it got killed? No, really. Oh. It was for eating. <laughs> it was the film. Ah. <laughs> no, I never felt sorry for the pig. No. What about, um, can you remember your grandparents? 
Uh, I can remember Grandfather Smith at my broke. Uh -huh. Yes, he lay in the big room and he had a big old fashioned Grandfather cloak. Uh -huh. And that got you. Uh, she come and stopped his cloak, his pen. You did? I did. You stopped his pendulum? The pendulum. I have it. I go and stop this battle of his cloak. I meant for your grandfather. Uh huh. I meant when. Why was he lying in the room? Was he ill? No, he would no. be an old man. Ah. And he maybe mm. wasn't a very grand. Grandfather Smith came for the New Galloway, uh -huh. see. And stayed uh -huh. at Marbrook uh -huh. with father and mother. Mm hmm. And, and it was, he died at Marbrook, actually. Ah. And I remember well his funeral. Mm -hmm. he, his body was taken away in the cart, in the horse and cart, mm -hmm. to Craig and mm -hmm. That's a long time ago. And what, so that was a way about, when oh. was that, 1916 or something? Oh, it would be, it would be a long time ago. We were all standing out at the door. He uh, wouldn't be there, but he wouldn't have thought about then. Mm -hmm. He was standing out at the door, father had the kid and the uh, uh, grandfather. Uh, he wasn't uh, he wasn't coffin that but broke. Mm -hmm. he, he was put into the kid. Mm -hmm. His feet were sticking out the back of the kid. Oh, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what would, he, what would he be in? He would they wrap him in a blanket? Oh, aye, he'd be wrapped in something. Aye. Uh -huh. aye, aye, aye. Mm -hmm. I mean, a grandfather smith beat in a way. Uh -huh. That's a long time since. And, uh, they forget the name of the head that was in the clinic, him and the wife was over standing at the door a long way. Mm -hmm. Us mm -hmm. went and feather. To see him being taken away. Aye. Uh -huh. aye, mm -hmm. aye, aye, mm -hmm. aye. And what would happen at Craig and Gillen? Would that be Well, there must have been a vehicle or something coming to convey him further for a uh, coffin in mm -hmm. or something. There would be something in mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was um, your grandfather. That was Grandfather Smith. Uh -huh. That was Mother's grandfather, yes. actually. And his his wife, your grandmother, do you remember her? No, I don't no. remember her. She died at New Galloway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, the James Templeton, do you remember your grandfather? Ah, it all did off. Oh, heavens, mm -hmm. I. Mother took us wings there, the off and off. And uh, uh, Granny Templeton was away then. It was Aunt Ogden, mm -hmm. she was keeping house mm -hmm. to grandfather. Mm -hmm. And we were up on so we so good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh yes, we went, mm -hmm. I don't know who we got to the Melton to get the train, weren't we? Mm -hmm. But we went to Ochendorf. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, and, and there we were, grandfather met us at the station. Ben could tell you what the station was. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been speaking about that whilst. He could bend at the station, mm -hmm. it would be in Grandfather Metis. Grandfather Metis here with the kid. Mm -hmm. And Aunt Agnes had a basket of oat cakes. Almost as you baked oat cakes, she hung them in the ceiling. Oh. And there was a pet sheep coming in. Blah! Blah! She got this down. She gives it a bit of oat cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, and did, did the sheep like the oat cake? Aye, the sheep liked the oat meal. Ah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That was funny, wasn't it? What about um, the likes of flittings? If somebody had to move, if you had to move um, for yin bit to the other, uh -huh. what what would happen at a flitting? Well, Can you remember any flittings? That oh, you I of course can't. Right. The horse uh -huh. and the kid the aye. Uh -huh. Aye, the Glenheed, the Seaton's flitted you to Glenheed. Uh, and feather would fetch their furniture and their bits of things over the kid to my brook. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, there would be a uh, lorry or something come and, and get them away. They went away to the colour, they could get away to the colour, they could get to us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. did in fact for Glen Heed. Mm -hmm. So really Willie was... Seaton and his wife. Right. And the wind. So really it was horse and caps. Aye. Mm -hmm. Well, it was horse and caps. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Aye. And what was the bit that you moved to out, away up at the beef tub somewhere? That's where ta your Uncle Tom and I went. Erzhoch. Uh -huh. Right. Erzhoch. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, and they the... took the fun they they could only get as far as the main road, was that right? Yes, the, the, the transport went to the top of the reef tub 
en nal rode we tappe de tappe de bief dat bestelde hier op zo mange trees nu en de van het rozati nou vlak hier de violet was born Oh, de van het rustig of hier een keer te doen, puhos een keer in de Erlshaal. How much of a distance would that be off the oh, main road? Oh, it was a good two mile. Uh -huh. Oh, a place who should uh -huh. never have been with winds for the skill. Uh -huh. Should never have been there. Ben and Bunty had to go down the river, down the water. The skill board put on brigs over the rivers uh -huh. between and to the fit. But it's a place we should never have been. Tom, your uncle Tom should never have been. Mm -hmm. But this Neil Mannin, he had a boat, just bought the uh, Earl's Hawk ship mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and two jaws farms, mm -hmm. sheep farms, and he wanted to be shepherd. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wanted, you know, the, you know, the Murrays to be his head. Mm -hmm. And John Murray would have went, but his family was too young for the school. Mm -hmm. There, mm -hmm. but Ben and Bunty, boy Tom, Uncle Tom, went and uh, the winds had to go and do that. So we were only two years here. Mm -hmm. We come back to the home of the mm -hmm. Wasn't a bit for the winds, they were hard ever at skill. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. was a wee tin skill, mm -hmm. getting it to the fit. Mm -hmm. What about um, bagpipes? <laughs> well, we would bag <laughs> What about the story? Well, you, so your sister Mary yes. and had bagpipes. What about that story? How did that come to be? Well, it, when she was a little bit away and I've heard mother saying money, she used to go about kidding her solo when she was had a bagpipes. Uh -huh. A bag, I suppose. Uh -huh. And uh, for their own, she had a tin whistle. Mm -hmm. She had to wear the old tin whistle, so I had to have this noisy trumps. She used to come to the door selling tin whistles. Whistles, right. And of course, with the old tin whistles. Uh -huh. And she took uh, on to heaven further uh -huh. uh, with bagpipes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and what was the And of thing? course, we worked over the hill where Femur broke, uh -huh. which was a distance dis dis over to the Hedy often. Mm -hmm. So when she was learning the bug pouts, Nellie and I, for company, there was a good long road, mm -hmm. uh, get on the hill, and we uh, walked down off the six miles down off to stay with Mr. Mrs. Mrs. McFodge's sister, mm -hmm. different yins, mm -hmm. and company you come mm -hmm. while she got lessons in the bug pouts. Mm -hmm. Then we'd come back over the hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was quite a journey, quite of a... Course, but she succeeded, she mm -hmm. stuck into her work. Mm -hmm. And it was just years, years we were in Dulry, and she was playing the bagpipes, and Nelly and I was going up the other side of the street with coins collected for the Highland Distress. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What was the Highland Distress? What uh, well, there was distress of some kind in the Highlands, but... Uh -huh. uh, and that would be in the 1920s? Oh, or? not very old, but maybe it wasn't all that, but she could play a tune. She could heal and Lodi and Barn Brooks of Eaton and that kind. She could uh -huh. play a tune. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I wonder what the Highland distress was. Oh, well, it, mm -hmm. it must have been kind of hard up for her. Uh -huh. uh, the lights at the school. Could, were you allowed to just speak Scotch, your usual oh, I was lingo? Aye, yes. he didn't have to speak English? or. Well, he, yes, he had to speak as he read. Yes, oh. yes, he spoke as he read. Right. But aye, he wouldn't speak as I speak to you. Right, he, aye. No, he speak as he read. Oh. As, re as he read. Aye. But that must have been quite hard for some of the country wains that weren't the used to it. I suppose it would be, of course, we were learned to read. Uh -huh. uh, learned to read. Yeah, then that was uh, reading, reading is it the, for the books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aye. What about um, the Second World War? Well, the Second World War was a different set up altogether. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Well, we left the uh, Earl's Hawk in '39, was it? Come back to home and the where and that was the year. That was when the Second World War started. Mm -hmm. Nineteen thirty nine. And we were very pleased to have been back at the home and the where and. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But that was a job to I mean it was six years. It was done for six years. Mm -hmm. And can you remember anything about what it was like? Well, the bed, yes, indeed. It was a, 
Ik moet zeggen, geen pieter voor business van de shepherd's wife leven. Uit een paar places. En de, de, de mijnvolk had te gaan en met haar shotgun ze zitten de briggs aan. Echt, die kwaad de briggs. Dat he? Aha. En dan had te gaan is te vragen, hoe ze vijf mijl weten, kunnen tussen en de verschillende garden, hoe ze wat te zitten aan. Echt. Aha. En, en in mijn oorlog had daar shotgun. Oh, aha. Jerry had het niet gehad als je het kunt herhouden. En kan je je herinneren de planes komen over? Ja, oh heavens, ja, ja. Maar dat was de jaar dat ik was gemarried. Ah. Onkel John en je onkel John, Marie en mijn auntie Mary, was weer de honeymoon. Aha. Daar was Mark Grant, dat is de honeymoon. Aha. En ik uh, was verder met zijn cel op mijn broek, of ik was in Gracie, Gracie en Norman. Aha. Uh -huh. Ik was die gedoen uit nacht in melk de koe en melk stij aan nacht en melk in de morgen en ik heb weer bak op. Zo had ik wel het niet in het bij, zoals deze bielaars, een keer in de bij. Je melk de koe en met de wee bak op en melk de koe en de doorn met de werk at home. En dan de wee bak, ik doe het nacht again in this particular nacht, waar we iets over bed is as usual. En Violet, I was, I was at the head of the stereo and Feather was in the back kitchen. He slept there in the back kitchen. And we heard, Feather heard the plane and, and I heard the planes now. And he got up and I can't, he was up. But I heard the door bang and I got up to see. And he uh, would do turn to the green mm -hmm. and watch the, the German plane. The Spitfire, you could see it was a clear night, mm -hmm. you could see the German plane away and the Spitfire underneath. Mm -hmm. Ping, ping. <laughs> it was a scene and a half. It was a, it was a very frightening scene. Mm -hmm. And the landing. And this was it coming down? Aye, the, the Spitfire got it. And it was away over in Cornhared, Manhull, where it come down. Mm -hmm. And we heard it, you know. Come and do my barn. Mm -hmm. Terrific reek. And Feather can't exactly where it was. It was between Corner and Corner and Hard and Mount Wall. Mm -hmm. Quite a distance away over the hill. Mm -hmm. But they put, and said that the bombs were on the top of the hills, the hills was on fire. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what we were standing out watching. Yes, uh, uh -huh. And then, well, things quite and doing, and Feather went away to bed. He had kindled the fire, but then he went away to bed and I went away up. Back up there. And the uh, uh, feather heard their feet coming down the close, and he thought, oh, he thought this will be the Germans. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. So he got up and shouted out the one to hear it was Tom, your uncle Tom, and Tom Anderson oh. had come away on their bikes to see if we were all right. Oh. So I, uh, of course, got way back to the stairs uh -huh. and made some tea. Uh -huh. And this is what it was. Oh. They come away through their bikes this uh -huh. evening. And of course, everybody in that plane would be killed. Hmm? Everybody in the plane would be killed. Well, the pilot was, was killed he outright. Was killed, right. But the ones with two of them, Germans, built out on oh. Oh. And I was sitting melting the coo at my broke in the morning. And it was dark. And I saw lights get up. And go to her, it later as it was the, the Germans is what was they called? It was an incendiary bomb. Oh, it was an incendiary bomb. Like flares. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, flares to let them see where they were. Ah. There was two Germans in building. My goodness. So of course uh -huh. the police were out and looking for the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did they get them? Aye, oh aye, mm -hmm. oh aye. But they mm -hmm. weren't hurt for they were built to see. Mm -hmm. But the pilot was killed. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pilot was killed. And there's a bit of that plane mm -hmm. yet. Oh! Your Uncle Tom made lots of these oh, for opening letters. Uh -huh. And he made a lot of wee things for the lapels, uh, like horseshoes. So what bit would that be on the plane? It's, it would be something connected for the front, you can. Right, uh -huh. kind of uh -huh. Ah. So he made brooches and he, aye, he made, openers? Aye, because he went to investigate to mm -hmm. see the plane after it was done. Mm -hmm. yes. And of course it was all broken up and uh -huh. they, got, uh, they got bits of this, uh, tremendous stuff. Uh -huh. So that was a bit of a German plane. My goodness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> uh -huh. 
So that's a lot. Now, <laughs> what, what else have we not covered? <laughs> what about weddings? What would happen at a wedding? The lights oh. at Auntie Mimi's wedding or your wedding? Oh, wedding was a great event. Uh -huh. Of course it was. Mm -hmm. the, the neighbours was all invited to a wedding. And would it usually be held at the bride's at home? At the bride's home, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, at the bride's home. Because mm -hmm. they said a fiddler, somebody with a fiddler, mm -hmm. with a fiddle, and, and the dance and the tea would be all nicely set. Mm -hmm. Somebody would make a speechy hen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there wouldn't be big fancy presents. Oh no 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 no! The folk had any the money. For no. No. Mm -hmm. no 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 no! They had any the mm -hmm. money for that. What about fiddles? Would most folk play a fiddle? Or? The most of country folk played a fiddle. Uh -huh. They did so. Uh -huh. They had in the Herdon place. It was all be ear, and there was uh -huh. no such thing as lessons. Mm -hmm. They'd be all be playing the fiddle. Yes. And we would teach them. Oh, it would be in them to come out. Uh, see, your Uncle Tom's mother and father both played the fiddle. Oh, did they? She as well. They both uh -huh. played a uh, musical mm -hmm. poem. And that come out to see Uncle Tom and mm -hmm. Mott's, his sister Mott. Mm -hmm. And look at Jordi and great fiddlers. They never got lessons in the no. music. And some of them would even make their own fiddle. Oh, well, Uncle Tom made a fiddle. Did he? He made a fiddle and he could play a tune on a fiddle. Uh -huh. Or that fiddle. Uh -huh. It was uh -huh. a tremendous thing. I mean, that fiddle should have been better looked after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, what happened to the fiddle? I don't know what came out no. in latterly. Mm -hmm. We flattened about it just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you play anything? No, no, I was dumb. Oh. <laughs> I never played. Uh, I did like good music and, and like dancing. I loved a good dance. Uh -huh. And I did like somebody that could keep time to music. What kind of dance would you do? Well, the other one, yes, was uh, staying at Marbrook and he was learning as the Highland Fling. And oh, I got quite well. But that then, come I do the lobby, she wanted to le learn the island fling. Uh -huh. I made that one day. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be easy to learn. No, but I could do a bit of the island fling. Good, I liked island. Uh -huh. I, I was very fond of dancing, uh -huh. keeping time to music. Mm -hmm. What other dances apart from the Highland fling? Oh well, that was a, that was just a single thing. The Highland satish, mm -hmm. polka mazurka. Mm -hmm. That was a great, and love, oh, they was my favourite dances. Mm -hmm. Just my, two people, man and, mm -hmm. you know, just your partner. Mm -hmm. uh, Polk was always great, and love, oh, and uh, oh, different dances, we had lots of. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would be the music then for the dancing? The fiddle. Uh -huh. The fiddle. There's somebody playing a fiddle. Somebody playing the fiddle. Mm -hmm. There's no the country folk, I'd be honest. Mother had a piano a lot, her lady, but and days gone by, we, there was nobody who was be honest, mm -hmm. it was just the country folk had that fiddle. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was in them to play the fiddle. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the Mithorgan. Mm -hmm. The Mithorgan was a great day. Right, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Aye, uh-huh. And singers, would a lot of them be singers? Oh, yes. Aye, they were, they were musical. I'll see that for them. Mm -hmm. They could sing. Uncle, mm -hmm. were, were Uncle Wally Temple, now it's a brother of feathers. What was he used to sing? I can smear and I can clip, I can need a look and dip, I can lay my yowie on the wall the ma. That was a bit of a song. Oh. I can sing, but he could sing this. It was great. Oh. Uh, what would that song be called? Oh heavens! <laughs> no, do you cannot remember it. No, that's no, what I can remember. Aye, uh -huh. Fe Uncle Wall, Uncle Wally Temple. That was Feather's uh, brother. Great big, tall, good looking man. Uh -huh. Used to come to my broke maybe in three years or something uh -huh. to visit. Uh -huh. And uh, they would sing this a song. Uh -huh. What would be the songs that the Waynes would hear or get taught? Would there be nursery rhymes or. Well. What would be the Waynes songs? At the school? Well, at the school or at home? I think at him it would be more cynic and he thinks that their mothers would come out come an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what kind of games would the Waynes play? 
at well at him out on in a good summer day it would be rounders or oh. or kick the ball, uh, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. hide and seek, mm -hmm. and uh, at the school of course there'd be a lot of children would be standing it would be to see who he was hit. Mm -hmm. And they'd be all standing, and somebody would, you know, the other ends would get up. Eating, beating, boat, and boy, cook, a riddle, trick, a joy, black fish, white trout, eerie, or you were out. That and he's out. Right, they start again. <laughs> it's the end that it was lost, was it? <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> so, what was, say that again? What was the rhyme? <laughs> eating, beating, boat, and boy, cook, a riddle, trick, a joy, black fish, white trout, eerie, or you were out. <laughs> That's a good tune, isn't it? <laughs> what about at the school? Had he to learn the Scottish songs and poems? Aye, there was usually mm -hmm. a Scottish song. Aye, aye. aye. Uh -huh. aye. What would be your favourite, Ian? Oh, we, we, we liked something very simple. Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, I never was a singer. No. Uh -huh. no. What would be the simple, Ian? What would be your. Oh, well. A nice the, song that you would. Aye. Oh, and a Larry or some of the kind of mm -hmm. things he can. So the Scottish and so on. And was there a lot of the Burns poems? Aye, there was quite a lot of Burns' things at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, aye, there was lots of... Right, eh, so the, just so the bits, you never really mm -hmm. could have remembered the whole... You wouldn't do the whole of Tam O'Shanter? No. Or, or like no. that? No, no, mm -hmm. no, but bits of them. Bits of them, mm -hmm. aye. And of course there would be a lot of the, the herds would be poets. Oh yes, uh -huh. aye, and of course uh, uh, Uncle Tom's grandfather, mm -hmm. he had a book of poems. Have you not got a book of poems? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aye, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aye. So. He must have been quite good at verse. Yes. He must uh -huh. have been quite good. To be good. able to write yes. like that. Uh -huh. Aye, he must have been quite good at this. Mm -hmm.